educated as a data trainer and tutor for data analytics master course with IM skills. Personally, I have a working experience of 13 years uh, in data analytics field, and I, uh, re I currently work as a data analytics consultant, where I consult various companies on their projects and also help out their teams in, uh, with certain projects. So that okay. is my profile in short. And, Basically, and, you 10 plus years of experience in the industry, and right now he's practicing for his data analytics related form and consulting form. So that will be helping various businesses to grow in terms of using the data in the best ways, right? So now Jatin will be helping you to understand this industry more better. So I'm just sharing this, like giving the rights to Jatin to share his screen and help you guys to understand more about it, right? So Jatin, you can share your screen. Yes, thank you. Yeah, I have done that. Okay, so again, once again, welcome everyone. Uh, let's first quickly go through the agenda for today's meeting. Today we'll be introducing about IM skills and what this course is about, and then we'll discuss a little bit about what data analytics means, what it covers, how uh, we can search for job opportunities, where we, where we will be able to fit ourselves after uh, pursuing this course. And uh, then uh, there's a small surprise for you uh, planned by the puncher at the end. So <clears throat> starting off, we, I am Skills, we are one of the world's leading online education service institutions based out of New Delhi, India. So we are based out of India, but we have an online presence of uh, across countries and we have a presence in across 45 plus countries globally. And we have a diverse, um, I would say we have a diversified students with us and a diversified alumni with us. Um, this is a brief uh, timeline of how the data master, uh, data analytics master course came into picture and our achievements throughout the years and how we have grown uh, particularly in this course. So the, the uh, course was started in 2015 um, and uh, always the experts that have been associated with us, uh, with IM skills, the tutors, the teachers, they, they have at least 10 years of industrial experience, vast and immense amount of industrial experience they carry out. And that is how we started in 2015. And then uh, we, by 2016, we had almost trained 1,000 plus professionals through this course, through different batches. And by 2018, we acquired a worldwide presence with this course, and we were having students from 33 plus countries uh, for this particular course, which uh, established our global presence for a data analytics master course. And in 2003, we reached to the pinnacle of, uh, of I would say, uh, the culmination where we wanted to uh, we and as a as an online education provider, and we were ranked number one online education provider by India TV, uh, based on our achievement to highest placement records. And that was in two thousand three. And in two thousand twenty four, we also updated and revised our modules and revised our course contents in a way to add uh, more tools so that you can have wide array of opportunities when you go out there. We added Eldrix, R, Python, and we revised our uh, curriculum in a manner that it suits the current uh, demand of growing, growing demand of data analytics. And this is a field which has been nascent and it has been growing. It's a fast growing field and that is why we keep on updating our course curriculum in order to keep up with the uh, with the advancements in job in job market and career market, in, especially in the field of data analytics. Our mission is that we provide world class education uh, at affordable pricing and through our live online programs. And though it's an online program, but we simulate 
we create an environment where you have a simulation of as if you're attending an offline class. And that is our mission in history. Uh, we are continuously working hard to, you know, uh, have different skill development courses into our kitty. It's not just with data analytics, but we have a wide array of uh, courses available in digital marketing, in finance, in online search, search engine optimization, and so on. And we keep on searching for this, these kind of skills which are required at a daily. I mean, in 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 uh, with the, with the power, uh, with the industry level, and we try to incorporate those skills into our courses, those tools into our courses, and keep ourselves updated with what is hot and what is not. And we, we aspire to build an organization where we not only just impart education, but we build uh, students, we build individuals who are ready to take on with advanced skills. Now, before understanding about, you know, some USPs about IM skills or some what this course entails, let us just first understand what actually data analytics is. So data analytics can be summarized into four types. One is a descriptive analytics, which basically covers, uh, you study the historical data and you generate some insights. And that is descriptive analytics. Uh, you don't add any value. You just simply have some historical data set with you and you will analyze that data for you. Then comes the diagnostic analysis where you answer the questions asked during the historical analysis that why it was seen as happening. So descriptive analytics basically covers that what has happened till now. Then diagnostic analytics covers that why it has happened. And then you have predictive and prescriptive analytics, which is now what we have to do since we know what has happened and why it has happened, now what we can do. So prescriptive analytics basically is recommendations that you give and predictive analytics is you make predictions based on the historical data that this, this demand or this sales or this um, stock price or this uh, particular this particular product is gonna go up or down or whatever, that is what you do in prediction. And then you do recommendation. So these are the three questions that you have to answer as a data analytics, which is what happened, why it happened, and now what? So what happened means descriptive analytics, why it happened, diagnostic analytics, and how is now what covers predictive and prescriptive analytics. So, Data analytics process covers a seven step, it's a, it's a step methodology and it's an entire, any project in data analytics uh, encompasses these all steps. The first part is data collection. Obviously you collect data from different sources. Then you clean the data, data cleaning, which is known as data augmentation, data transformation. There are n number of words for it, data cleaning, uh, where you remove inaccuracies in your data, you remove inconsistencies in your data. Then there is data integration where you, you have got data from different sources as a company. Now you want to integrate all that data into one pod and you want to analyze that. Then comes the data analysis part where you apply from algorithms, different statistical algorithms, machine learning algorithms on your data. And once you do that, and once you create visualizations, then you start interpreting that data. That's data interpretation. And then once you have done all this step, you understand what data offers to you, what are the interpretations of different analogies in the data, what does the historical data show you, what are the insights, then you do data visualization and reporting. So this is a basic complete methodology step from start to the beginning of every data analytics project. And we will relate to it when we discuss about the course uh, because we are covering each step of this analytics process with the tool that we are trying to teach you through this course. So we'll relate to it and once we discuss about the course. These are some applications of data analytics because there is a lot of myth going around that I am from not from technical field or I'm, I'm from a, a non-technical background, I'm from different backgrounds, and I am, if I'm doing this course, what will happen in us? Just keep in mind, data analytics is one field which, is, which does not 
which is not actually based on what is your background. There is no prerequisite, technical prerequisite or something like that. And once you are a data analytics master, you can apply your skill to any form, any organization, any type of uh, industry, because your job is to understand the data. A few examples is you can go into business analysis, uh, business intelligence, healthcare, we can, where you can analyze patient diagnostics, then marketing, where you can uh, do customer analysis, customer segmentation, market analysis, then finance, where you can do credit risk management, fraud reduction, lead generations, and then in retail as well, in e-commerce, in FMCG, where you can do inventory management, sales, land, uh, marketing, uh, forecasting, demand forecasting, inventory forecasting, inventory optimization. So there are n number of uh, applications of a data analyst. And it is not limit to an, limited to an industry. It is not limited to a particular department. Data analyst is required for HR. Data analyst is required for finance. Data analyst is required for R&D. Data analyst is also required for marketing and sales. So as a data analyst, you have a wide, I would say a wide area of opportunities out there for you. And the best part is you don't need any prerequisite background to be a data analyst. You can be a history major and be a data analyst. You can be an electronics major and be a data analyst. You can be an engineer and be a data analyst. You can even be a language teacher like English or Hindi and be a data analyst. It is this analytical skill that is most important. That is the only prerequisite, prerequisite which I, as a tutor or as a, as a consultant, say that for being a data analyst, your only prerequisite should be being analytical skills. That's it. Your mind should work analytically, that's it. Tools are easy to use, and that is how we have um, curated this course, that we are understanding that we have students from diverse backgrounds, and we have students with no experience in this particular field. And we have curated this course that it goes from very basic to the advanced level, where once you pass out this course, you will be at par with other data analysts sitting out there in the industry. Uh, so we, including me, we are total three trainers that will be tra taking different tools. Uh, we have Gaurav Sethi, who is a lead manager, lead project manager with Air India. We have Vantana, who is a data scientist with PwC. And they all, both of us, all three of us, we share a vast industrial experience that we share with you, that we bring out through this course with you. And we share our, our experiences, our challenges, the challenges which we face and how you can overcome them. And we also share that experience when it comes to preparation for interviews and placements. Now, coming all back to the first, first question that you always have in your mind that why I should go with IM skills. You know about, now we have given you information about data, given you information about data. And one point I've already answered that why IM skills because Number one, we have a good, well, vast experience, industrial industrial experience, and I have to mention industrial experience. Uh, faculty, which will teach you industrial focused, industry focused examples. But apart from that, there are certain USPs that I would like to point out. Uh, number one, uh, we offer interactive live training. So there are no recorded videos, there are no recorded sessions. Uh, those session recordings will be available, but the original sessions help in uh, occur in a live Zoom call. And it has a two-way communication, so students can ask questions, students can discuss with each other, students can discuss with teacher, teacher can discuss with students. So it kind of mimics a uh, classroom setting, which is just merely happening online. That is one of USP. Second, we offer end-to-end -end placement support. Now, obviously, once your course is completed and you are done with your internship project, uh, we uh, will help you with your placements. And once you get a placement and you're working in two and three years or four years down the line, you again want to change your job. And we have an extensive, uh, exclusive job portal access for our alumni. And where you can also connect with other alumni 
and someone can refer to your certain job or someone can tell that they have an opening in their particular company and then you after three four five or even 10 years with this ex exclusive alumni portal you can still look out for opportunities you can still be referred to different opportunities and it can still help you get a new job so what we are offering here is a career opportunity for lifetime third our learning management system that you will have access to during the course. We'll have all the session recordings, we'll have all the study material, we'll have all the ebooks, all the resources that we have shared during the entirety of the course. And the access to this learning management system will be lifeline. So anywhere down the line, even if three years you have completed the course and you, <laughs> you want to visit a particular topic or you want to understand something, you can always go back to this learning management system and you can access the recordings, you can access the study material. So it's a lifetime access. It's not limited to the entirety of the course or some are like a limited time after the duration of the course. But you can anytime, once you're with IM skills, you're always with IM skills. And another important USP, which I already mentioned to you, the industrial experience that we carry and tutors that are working in the industry we do not we are not teachers we to our students are mentors we are not here to teach we are not teachers as i told you we are team leaders in our respective jobs and that is what we try to implicate here we treat you as our team we treat you as our mentees and we not only are teaching you about the program we are also helping you about your placements, how to build up your resume, how to answer questions, how to uh, or how to how to handle different type of challenges in the job. We mentor you. It's a mentorship program. It's not a teaching program, and that is what our biggest USP is. Talking about this particular course, Data Analytics Master Course that we are offering is a six months course with hands-on practical exposure to tools like Python. W, Excel, R, Altrix, and Power BI. And we uh, are number one ranked online education program in data analytics by Analytics Insight, Statesman, and Times now currently. And we are approved by government. So our master certificate is, a, is uh, we since we are approved by a government as an online education institution, our master certificate is accepted globally. And that is another advantage that you get while joining this course. Now let's talk about the course itself. So as I told you, as I showed you these steps of uh, data, different data analytics, uh, different uh, steps in a data analytics project. And the starting of the pro uh, uh, project was selecting data and trans cleaning data. So the most common tool used for collecting and cleaning data is Excel and VBA. And that is what we start with. And that is what we teach you in this course. We cover both advanced Excel and we cover both VBA. So both of these tools are being covered, which covers the first two steps of a data analytics project. Then comes the next step, data integration and data augmentation. That SQL is the most common language used for RDBMS systems and data integration for joining different types of data, for querying different types of data. SQL is the most common language. There are different forms of SQL, MySQL, PostgreSQL, Oracle SQL, Transactional SQL, but all of it culminates in one language, which is SQL. And we cover that as well in our course. Then comes the data analysis part, which has algorithms, statistical algorithms, machine learning algorithms, and data insight generation part. So that part is covered by R and Python. Python is the most common tool used out there for data analysis and writing algorithms, followed by R. So we are not just teaching you one tool for that and then be done with it. We are teaching you another two, two types of tool for data analysis so that if a company is using R, you're still eligible to apply. If a company is using Python, you're again eligible to apply. So your opportunities when coming to job are not limited. And that is why we treat with two tools. And then comes, as an analyst, I would say, the most important part of the job, which is actually creating visualizations and 
reporting. So data visualizations and reporting is actually the most important job because that is what others will see. They will not see your data, how you collected it, or how you did the analysis, or how you wrote the algorithm. What they will see is the visualizations and the report that you generate. And that is the most part, important part of the, uh, of the job. And for that, that is why we are teaching you not one, not two, but three different tools. Power BI, Eltrix, and Tableau. These are hardcore, strong data visualization and reporting tools. And with if I talk about these tools, Amongst these three, these are the most, I mean, you cover the entire industry because most of the companies out there are either using Power BI or Tableau or Eltrix. So with these tools, now you cover the entire industry. So you're, again, that is what I'm trying to mention again and again. We are not limiting you as an analyst when you go out there. So you, if a company is working with Python and Power BI, you can still apply. If a company is working with R and Tableau, you can still apply. If a company is working with R and Eltrix, you can still apply. So your opportunity of applying out there in the industry, we have increased it. We have increased that opportunity, level that opportunity circle by introducing, by, by designing a course that will teach you different tools for different levels of the uh, analytical project. Now, apart from that, uh, I have some USPs uh, for this particular course, for the Data Analytics Master course. Number one, I talked about the master certification. So you will get uh, uh, an IAM Skills Master Certification, which is accepted globally. Plus, there will be a two months project internship from companies like PwC, TCS, Quantium, Accenture, and you will get a project completion certificate from these companies as well, which you can easy, um, effectively put on your resume. And third, after this, if you want to go for an advanced certification, we also help you for applying and preparing for data analytics certifications from Google and Microsoft, again, which are accepted globally. So we are not offering one, but a chance to earn three globally accepted certifications in the field of data analytics that will definitely put you on the edge, that will definitely put you above other data analysts right now who are searching in the job. Second, our course is 100% tools driven course. The training that we give is 100% based on the tools. We don't just show the videos of the tools, but we will practically operate those tools during the class along with the students. We'll tell you how to install those tools, how to use those tools, how to work on different type of data in those tools. It's a 100% tool-driven training that we'll impart. Third, we, the, uh, the faculty, the, the tutors that are associated with this course, as I've mentioned it again and again, carry a vast experience, vast industrial experience. And with that vast industrial experience come with real life, real time industrial examples, real world applications. And that is what we discussed in the class as well. So we are not working on some theoretical or some hypothetical examples. Whatever examples we tend to discuss in the class are real world applications, are real world problems. So that will that way we are ensuring that once you complete the course, you are ready for the job. And the fourth and most important US we are running to me is we offer a 24 seven support. And that is very important. You know, when you're doing a course and you're taking a plunge and you are changing your field, 24 seven support is very important as an, or, as an learning organization. So be it from the tutors, be it from the administrative team, be it from the counseling team, be it, and be it any type of query, be it an educational query or query related to your fees or query related to your, some technical problems you're facing, X, Y, Z. We are there to support you 24 seven. You can contact us by text, by email, by anything. And one of us will definitely be there to help you out. Now, this is a brief, some stats regarding the IM skills. Uh, we, till now, cross courses have trained 45,000 plus uh, students. And we have a strong alumni of more than 45,000 students with us. For this course, we have a placement ratio of around 81 percent uh, per 100 students. That means out of 100 students, 81 students are definitely placed. And we 
Till now, in the placements, we have seen a highest CPC salary for placements uh, is INR 36 lakhs, that is 36 lakhs Indian rupees. That is the highest CPC that we have seen across placements. Uh, we are associated with more than 500 global companies as our hiring partners, like Absolute Data, JP Morgan, Blackstone, SAP, IBM, Capgemini, Oracle, Accenture, and these are our recent placements. And as you can see, these are in all these are all global companies. Like there's Accenture, Reliance, PwC, HD Group, Baidu, Skylark, Microsoft, uh, Strave. So we, this is just to showcase that how strong our industrial network and how strong our alumni network is, that is also going to benefit you even three years, four years, five years, 10 years down the line in your career. And that is what we try to offer you. As I started, as I said in the start, we are not just teaching you, we are mentoring you and we are offering you a lifetime job opportunity. So um, I think Dipanshu, uh, you would like to talk about the surprise. Okay, so <clears throat> everyone, I believe you must under like till now you have understood about most of the things related to the program. So here I just encourage each one of you, like I believe most of the things are pretty clear to you that how this industry basically works and how you will be taking the maximum advantage of this particular industry. What are the job opportunities are there? Whether you are from any particular industry and even you are looking forward toward any industry, whether it is a finance, healthcare or anything you still can eligible to have a job in that particular industry with the help of this data analytics program. Along with this, the tools, I guess, Jatin mentioned and help you to understand all these tools are something which will be helping you to work across the globe. So if some of the countries, some of the companies, they are using certain tools, you are eligible there because those tools are covered here. Because in data analytics industry, Let's say in finance, most of the time they use R, right? Or maybe some of the other organization using Python. So you must be aware about each and every single tool that will be used in the industry across the different organization. And so you are eligible for all the job opportunities in the industry demanding different tools requirements, right? Now, I just wanted to have a quick understanding from all of you, all the things that Jatin has shared. It is clear to all of you. You understood it really well. Can I have quick yes and no from all of you? In the chat box, guys. Thanks, Shruti. Thanks, Tanya. Thanks, Tripti. Perfect. So you got the insights about the industry, how it works, and how you can be eligible for various opportunity across the industry. Okay. So now I am giving the opportunity to all of you guys. Please ask your all the questions that you have related to this industry. Jatin is here. I am here. If you have something related to the program or any other thing that I'll be helping you. And if there is something where Jatin can help you related to the industry, then he will be helping you. So please, the platform is open for everyone to ask your questions. So can I have a quick Q&A round from all of you that if you have any questions regarding the training program, if you have any questions regarding the, this industry, re any question related to your objective, so you can simply ask. You can either unmute yourself or you can write in the chat box itself. Any questions, guys? Yes or no, quickly in the chat box. Hello. Or if you want to speak over the mic, if you want to speak over the audio, then you simply have to say, okay, I use Mac laptop and I heard that Power BI is not supported in Mac laptop. Jatin, can you please? Uh, no, no, that is not an issue. Uh, you can easily work with Power BI on Mac. Power BI uh, uh, comes with an online uh, Power BI service account as well, where you can just log in like any other website and work on Power BI. So either you can opt for that, or there's also a solution where you can um, just install a Windows operating system in your Mac if you want to operate it locally. But Power BI comes with both online and on-premise application where you can build dashboards and reports. So I don't think that should be a problem. Perfect. 
apart from this guys as some of you are asking the questions related to the internship right sir you provide a short internship for two months vivek is asking isaac is asking sir do you have internship what about excel in mac because we have to purchase it okay jatin please cater it all the internship related queries i'll be taking care after jatin help the people about the software or tools related things jatin can you please take all these questions and regarding yes 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 and for all of you guys i can help you to understand what type of industry uh, like internships are there what type of job opportunities we will be helping you so all the question related to internship and jobs i'll be covering at the end before that jatin is helping you all other queries See, so, even if you are using uh, a Mac laptop, that does not uh, um, that does not refrain you from using. I mean, practicing on that. And there's a free Microsoft Excel application for Apple on Apple Store, so you can easily download it. It's not paid. Certain features are paid, definitely, but the application is free. So most of the codes, VBA codes, or Excel formulas that we'll be covering in the class. Will definitely be covered in Microsoft Excel in a Mac laptop, and I would suggest that if you're using Mac, you can. Uh, there are so many online, uh, uh, online, online virtual machines available. You, you can either use Microsoft Azure, or where you can uh, create a Windows virtual machine and you can practice on that as well. So I don't think that using an Apple computer would limit you to learn. Or would limit you to. Obviously, there is a work around that, and that can be possible. It's not that that you know. And I, as far as I know, the Excel application and Apple Store is free, of course, and it covers most of the formulas that we'll be teaching. So you shouldn't you shouldn't be worried about that. Uh, okay, so that was uh, Ritu's question. I hope I answered your question, Ritu. Moving on. I have a question from Shruti that I have eight years experience in sales field. I just want to understand: is it possible for me to change my career? Yes, Shruti. Uh, um, I mean, you have an intensive sales, and people with experience in sales and marketing have uh, uh, a good scope in 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 data analytics field because you most of your life you are doing analysis. You are analyzing demand, you're analyzing inventory, you're analyzing sales costs and all that. It's just that you're not using specific specific tools and not following specific method methodologies. But yes, you can definitely, uh, and you can also change your career. Yes, as a data analyst, you have the opportunity to switch your career from sales to any other industry you want to. So that will not be an issue, don't worry. I would say IT, and I'd be frank about it, that IT industry would, be a little difficult task for you because IT industries, when they are hiring data analysts, they have this. Um, uh, uh, I mean, they have this uh, thing in mind that if if it's possible, we ha hire someone with experience in IT so he can do both data analytics and IT work so that it saves them money. But yeah, it's. I mean, um, I have seen people who are from different backgrounds still working in IT industry, so it's not like. It's a, it's a difficult barrier to cross through, but you can definitely move to healthcare from sales background, definitely. Okay. Which subjects are given ebooks and we are expected to learn by ourselves? No, ISAC, nothing. We're expected nothing to learn by yourself. The ebooks and the resources that we share are for your extra knowledge. That is something we ask you to study extra apart from the classes and apart from what we are discussing in the class. So there is nothing that you have to do your, your own. This is just an additional resource that we'll be sharing with you to help you through the topic or you want to do something else or you want to do further research or you want to do, develop a further skill more in an advanced format. We share that resource with you or you just want to keep on practicing. But everything will be taught in the class. Nothing we'll be saying that you learn on your yourself. Uh, Risham, just to know, I'm from banking background, so why a company will hire me or give me preference over any technical guy? Again, so Rishabh, this is a very big myth that for data analytics, you need to be a technical guy. As I covered in the uh, objective of data analysis project, 
your job is to collect data, analyze the data, and give recommendations. And it has nothing to do whether you are a technical or a non-technical, or from sales, or from banking, or from XYZ. Once you become a data analyst, you can understand any type of data. You can understand any format of data. You can deal with any type of data, and you can provide recommendations on the same. It is an entirely different field of working, and it is not a traditional field of working. So yeah, don't worry. And your non-technical background will not affect your learning. That is also a point. I have seen, I have uh, analysts working with me who are all from non-technical background. So being from a technical background or being an engineer will, I mean, that that is not a prerequisite for this course. So don't worry about that. Okay, Tanya has a question, will all the topics we covered from basic to advanced? Yes, Tanya. Uh, and we showed advanced Excel because um, we assume that you know how to enter or write a number in an Excel column. So obviously that is not basic Excel. Basic Excel, if you have if you are you have passed your 12th these days, it is assumed that you know Excel. But it is advanced Excel that people don't know. And it covers shortcuts, it covers how to create pivot tables, it covers using different formulas, it covers all of that. And that is why we have mentioned advanced Excel. Basic, if you talk about basic Excel, it's just entering numbers and text into a column and a row, which is, which as a computer user, you will definitely be knowing. So that is why we have termed this as advanced Excel. Okay. Pradeepa has a question, if we need to learn BI tool, which tool is good with digital marketing domain? Um, I'd say Power BI and Tableau both are uh, good with digital marketing domain. So actually how these tools work is you get the data into these tools from a data source. So you, it does not matter that where that data is, is that data coming from a digital marketing domain or from some XYZ domain. But uh, if you want me, if you want to ask that which one is most favorable, uh, I would say Power BI because of the app, because of the support from Microsoft, because it's a Microsoft developed tool, Power BI. And then it easily integrated, integrates with a large number of applications. And it can also integrate with Azure DevOps to create visualizations that can be integrated with websites. So when it comes to digital marketing and Power BI is more favored, but uh, I think Tableau and Power BI both are equal because you have to import the data into the tools to work with it. So it does not matter where the data is coming from. No, Ramesh, it is not a self-paced course um, or you have to complete it within a specific period. It is a live online training education course where we'll be teaching you live on Zoom calls and then you'll be doing class exercises and assignments. And you have to definitely complete all the assignments in order to get the certification, that is for sure. But it's not a self-paced or a specific task or specific period course. Right. Okay. Anyone else has something related to this? Sir, I'm new to this and I'm a complete beginner. I think that's who she was. Uh, so I am confused if we'll be able to understand it online classes. Uh, Kushi, the uh, beauty or the advantage of data analytics is that most of the jobs are also remote. Most of the jobs are also online because in data analysis, everything is on your either on your laptop or on cloud and everything that you're performing is online. So when you're doing everything online in the job, I don't think there should be any difficulty understanding and learning it online. So. Yeah, that should not be a problem. Excuse me. Hello. Good evening. Vidya here. Yes, Vidya. Uh, actually, currently I uh, graduated M Tech, but now I'm working in a school as a computer science AI teacher. Okay, so I just want to switch my career like into IT back. Okay, so um. Uh, I want to become a data engineer. So will this course help me? Or what is the difference between a data engineer and a data analyst? So data engineer, ma'am, is a 
hardcore coder mm. and his job is not to analyze his job is to create algorithms for the analysts to use so that's the difference data scientists and data uh, engineers are, are are people who i would say when you, when you're doing that then it's a definite prerequisite that you should either be from mathematics or statistics or an engineering background okay i have around 8 um, years of experience in my school so uh, i will be considered as a um, fresher right when i when i complete the course and go for an interview i will be a fresher right if you do not have any kind of working experience like some people here have sales experience or banking experience if you don't have any kind of working experience then yes you will be considered as a fresher teaching experience okay. does not count towards industry experience okay okay so as a beginner uh, what will be the um, salary package as a beginner as a beginner you see i am a, uh, i know the python pandas and all those things what you said a little bit i know as a beginner i would Part say ma'am the industry par um, the par salary industry is i would say around 30000 per month as a beginner it is 30000 Yes, twenty-five to thirty thousand. Okay. That's the industry average. Okay. Will you give a uh, placement support? Like, how many interviews uh, can I attend, or something like that? Placement support. Yes, we do give placement support. I think the Panchu will answer this question better. Yeah, sure. So, guys, basically, all the questions related to the internship and job opportunities, then I'll be helping you within this. And also, there are certain questions related to the topics covered. So, if you have come over our website here, you can see simply that data analytic master course. There, we will be teaching you all the things within just six months. And by any chance, I have read all the questions that people have asked there related to the program. So, I just want to clear to all of you that this course is going to be a six months of live online training. when you will be learning everything okay minakshi you are not able to hear me let me just i am pretty loud i guess all of you can hear me properly yes or no can i have quick yes or no you can be little bit louder sir uh i am very much louder <laughs> so right so you just have to check about like uh earphone or something you have to use i guess that will be more helpful okay So guys, basically, as you can see on this particular website here, that become a job ready data analyst in six months. So in six months, we will be helping you to attend all the classes as a live online classes. You are not going to just check out the recorded videos or self study or something. It is in every class. Trainer is gonna teach you live session. They will be performing the task live. So let's say if somebody is teaching you Excel related things. so they have certain excel files during the class on those files they will work in front of you that how to particularly things needs to be done and how they when they showing you they will be teaching you and after the class you will be getting all those files to work upon trainers have these file uploaded in your lms account so we create one lms account which is your learning management system how it look like if i'll just show you then it look like this when you come over here login button then here there's a option where you simply can let's say i'm just login into this just to show you guys okay so once you login in this lms then you have all the courses available here right so whichever course you have enrolled so let's suppose you enroll for data analytics course in here you will see all these things available one pre reading material and your ebook and resources then you have your recordings so for weekend batch people opted they have a weekends recording here and the people opted for weekdays batch their recordings will be in this class so after class happens you have a recordings available in these sections then you have a class worksheet and project so let's say the trainer who taught you about excel and vba that person put all the files they worked upon and they give you one assignments to use the same file and work or like perform some of the tasks so those sheets will be uploaded here your projects and assignments will be uploaded in these so your excel assignment will be here your vb assignments will be here and whatever the ppts are trainers using and whatever the notes they will be helping you to make they will put it here so that you all can see 
right? I request Rehan, do not use a notation or do not draw anything on the screen. I believe there is some option is turned on so that you will be able to use it. So please don't do it now. Okay, so now you have this all options available here where you simply can go and check out all the things. So if you want to check out, let's say recordings. So when you click here, then you will see all the batches recording of the previous batches as well, right? So let's say the person who did the course in 2023 because this recently changed LMS. So that person is still can check out all the sessions happening in 2024, right? So similar way, weekdays batch are there. Then when you click on this class worksheet and all, then you have your all assignments and files available here. When you click on, let's say your Excel assignment or VB assignment, then you have your assignments available here, right? So throughout the training program, you will be working on the various projects. So how many projects you will be working upon? You will be working upon total 16 projects at least. So here, like two projects related to Excel, then two projects related to VBA, then you have a SQL projects, then you have a Power BI, Python, then you have your R projects, Tableau and all trees. All these projects will be worked upon by you guys, will be taught to you guys. Somebody is asking about the advanced Excel, what we are covering in advanced Excel, right? So then from everything like data handling, visualization, manipulation, analysis and reporting, everything you will be working over during this Excel learning. So you will be attending at least for one month, all your Excel and VBA classes, right? Similarly, when you want to check out what we will be covering in VBA, so all the topics are given here. So all these things will be covered here, right? So it is covering almost everything which is required to work as a effective data analyst in the industry. So whether you are working with Excel or you are working with VBA or you are working with Python. So we are at least covering basic statistics here, basic, basic mathematic, math, mathematical foundations, and then analytics and data science, Python essentials, all these things will be covered. Libraries of Python is also going to be covered, whether it's NumPy or Panda, right? So you can see that basically every particular module is covering almost all the tasks that needs to be done using the same tool. Can you show us your placement portal, sir, as how alumni found companies? See, yes, you have the option to just check out here with the placement report, or you have your, like over the LinkedIn, you can search about IM skills. You can see all the people who will be there who already got placed or already worked or have completed their course with IM skills, right? Or even you can simply download the placement report by just clicking here, you can see it there. Right. So as Jatin has already shared that it is a 81 percentage of the placement like report we have that out of 100 people, 81 people are absolutely getting the placement from us. It is all about who needs it. Right. So if let's say in every batch, if 20 people or 25 people are enrolling, it doesn't mean everyone needs a placement from us. Some of them needs it. Some of them doesn't need it. They're just doing it for upskilling themselves. They are already working maybe as a data analyst or they already have a requirement in their current organization to learn data analyst or analytics. So that's why they also learning, right? So it is not always like that all the people are doing the course, they need the job. Sometimes some of them doesn't need it. So we help the people who needs it and we don't help the people who don't need it as simple as that. So if you come up to us that, yes, I need jobs or I want, can you help me with the job opportunity? Though what we do, we help everyone to attend our session, which is for job preparation, which is for internship and all. Right. But it's your choice, whether you want to apply through us or you just want to go ahead and get the opportunity in your current organization. Now internship things, if I talk about then these internships, which are from Accenture, TCS, PWC, Quantum, these all are internships through online and remote basis, right? You have to do it with your job. You can do it with your job. If you are doing currently a job or if you are learning something or currently doing some education, like your college or masters, along with that, you can do this internship as these are the remote internship. And after doing these internship, you will be getting a certifications of internship. And then you can put those company names into your resume or CV that actually make your CV or resume more heavier when you are applying for the different jobs. So getting a job in the industry is not going to be a problem for all of you guys. Why? Because you have learned all the demanding skills, all the demanding tools. Second, you also have a practical implementation, all the tools covered here. Third, you will have a big names in your resume that you have done internship with Accenture, TCS, PWC, and Quantium. And at the end, we will be helping you with the job opportunities. 
we will be helping you with our various placement partners who will be in different companies in different locations we are connecting you with them and they will be helping you to get hired for different companies right apart from this guys these are the certifications you will be getting like google microsoft and then you have one of the certification from us which is i am skills completion certification now I have a question. Can you show us the placement portal? I have answered this question. Isaac, I believe an internship is included in the six month duration of the course or it is after six months. It is after six months. So once you complete your six months of training, then after you will be going for this internship. And these are the certifications you will be getting after your internships from the different companies where the letter of recommendation from IM skills is also will be shared with you guys. Right. Apart from this, if I am talking about any questions you have guys, Till now, related to the program. Sir, in one session, how in one batch, how many uh, participants will be there in one Zoom session, one batch? Right. In one batch, there are approximately 25 to 30 students maximum. Right. Sometimes. So the personal questions, doubt and all, like, because people will be from different, different backgrounds, right? It will be easily answered. So don't worry about it because right now you are already 35 people in this session and we are answering to each one of your questions, right? So it makes sense when you even attend the training classes, the trainer is responsible for helping you out in all the queries and questions. And by any chance, if you have any unanswered queries or if let's say you pop up the queries or question after the class, you still have the access to connect with them over the WhatsApp or you have the option to send an email to get answers for your queries, right? I hope that solve or that like doesn't make any problem for you guys. You easily can go ahead and can do it. Sir, I have completed my law course and CS course. I need your guidance regarding that, which course is better for me, whether data science or data engineering or data analytics. I guess Jatin can help you better in this. Jatin, can you please help Tripti for this? Yeah. Um, Tripti, it depends. Uh... Uh, what you want to be, what your interest is, first of all. And second, looking at the background, I would suggest that you should go for a data analyst course than, than, rather than a scientist or an engineering course because from, uh, uh, from a scientist or an engineer, engineering perspective, it's a very hardly code-oriented, coding-oriented, technical-oriented course with focus on statistics, mathematics, and pro programming languages. So that is a job, programming and coding, that is a job of data engineer. Whereas data analyst is, a, is, a, is an entirely different aspect uh, where uh, you will be taking the data, you will be using these tools to analyze those data, probably write a few algorithms or have code delivered to you by your data engineering team and use that code to provide the analysis and interpret the analysis. So your major job is to provide recommendations and interpret the data rather than writing code. Considering your background, I think data analytics would be more suitable for you as a career change option. It's very simple Tripti, to understand that, yes, if you are from a coding background, then where you have a good understanding or fair knowledge of codes, then you must go with the like other courses, like say data scientists or data engineering. And if you are someone from non-technical background, and if you want to become some something related to data, then I believe data analyst is the something which can be the more suitable option for you being from a non-technical background because data scientists and data engineering required hardcore coding knowledge, right? Isaac is asking a question, what does a data engineers do? So data engineer basically like they develop the queries, I guess. Right, Gaurav? As we have mentioned again and again, data engineers, data scientists, they are the technical part of the job. They are the ones who are creating the tools. They are the ones who are creating the algorithms. They're, if you're working as an analyst, there is a chance that there will be a data engineering team that will be writing code for you and you have to just analyze. So. That's an entirely different job. And if you want to be a data engineer or a data scientist, you should have number one coding experience. You should number two, have a, 
background graduation and post graduation background in coding and you should be comfortable with it Research. so if you are if you are into that segment then i think you should go for a data some different course data analyst is a course for people who want to rise above the uh, challenges of not able to go across industries not able to work across departments as a data analyst you are above all those things perfect so now rishav is asking that during placement don't you think the hiring company will more give preference to a technical candidate as they will be under the impression that they might be having more knowledge on programming languages and can perform better a non technical candidate just wanted to get clarified on this dipanchu can can i take this one Yeah, yeah, please. It's yours only. Yeah. So, uh, again, guys, everyone, uh, and I think there's still this confusion lying. I'm trying to explain you this very entire thing. Please try to understand what a data analyst job is. A data analyst, and it 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 is very clear in the name. You are required to analyze, and for analyzing, technical background is not required. so please please do not worry about your non technical backgrounds please anyone who would be preferring uh, in an internship would be preferring a technical and no they would they would rather prefer like i i read someone miraj is saying that i am a bds bds with a data analytics course miraj you will have ample of opportunities any pharmaceutical company would love to have you because you have the working knowledge of how a drug works you will have the biological knowledge you will have the knowledge to understand the biological data the pharmaceutical data the medical data and that will help you to analyze so your technicality would not matter so people please understand your technicality does not matter at all Perfect. as a data analyst you are required to analyze and report and that is not related to any technical you you need help of technical tools that we will be teaching you but right. once you are going out for the job it does not matter only thing matter is how good you are at analyzing and how good you are at reporting that's it uh hi sir this is anavya uh and i had a question and i have just graduated my computer engineering from india and now i am based in qatar uh, uh, currently i am in qatar so after the course completion of the course uh, will i be getting a full you know full time job in this field can i uh, like yes yes definitely really? there is a very good opportunity of getting full time jobs you will be definitely getting full time jobs there are no part time jobs remote working means that you will not be working in an office environment but the job will be full time so don't worry about it okay thank you so much uh, also i need to ask uh, are you going to like uh, doing the placement thing uh, globally or just in india we are associated with global companies so wherever they have an opening uh if it's a remote or whatever it's a non premise it's up to you and the company all the companies we are associated with are global companies so they have might have opportunity in india or they might have opportunity in some other country but they might have a remote opportunity so then it won't matter that wherever you sit so okay. thank you so when we uh, before we go for some placements and all will you ask our priorities like uh, how we have to work hybrid mode or office or online at work at home so will you ask us the priority and give uh, interviews accordingly yeah vidya absolutely when you just enroll in the program immediately after you will receive a admission form by your counselor by filling that admission form you have to mention all these things that what location you are actually looking for the job what type of jobs you are actually looking forward so they you have to share all your preferences in that particular form got it yes uh, one one more doubt actually one more doubt uh, it's very personal like uh, question see i am getting paid more than what the um, sir said no that a fresher data analyst going to get okay i am paid more than that in my school 
so i don't want to leave my school i want to work as a like a part time or something uh, what is the opportunity for me like uh, yeah just want to know what are the career opportunities in this case like a freelancer or a, uh, maybe i can become a trainer so you if i want to become a trainer so should i have is it mandatory that i should have a like what to say it software experience like that domain experience or something like that yeah of course no with uh, uh, with yeah i don't think that is necessary and uh, if you want to do a part time contractual jobs there are a lot of part time contractual work uh, projects out there for data analysts and you can definitely work them in accordance with your current job but unless it does not affect your schedule there are there are a lot of opportunities in a part time and a contractual region as well. and also um you can definitely work as a trainer i i mean uh, there is no uh, prerequisite that again if there is no prerequisite for doing the course then there should be no prerequisite for getting the job when it comes to technical or non technical back so don't worry about uh hello sir yes meraj continue yes yeah. uh actually i am also working as a medical scribe so uh, i am also getting uh, uh, a good payment over there but i want to upskill myself and i want to like some uh, i am just hoping that maybe i'll get some internal placement or maybe if i want to go uh, like outside the uh, institution where i am currently working so will i be getting matlab my experience there because i am having an experience of more than 3 years So will that be considered, or I will be considered as fresher in this field? No, 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 no. So uh, Miraj, you will not be considered as fresher. The Vidya's case was different because she is a teacher. Um, yeah. And in industry, the only experience that is counted as is the industrial experience. Teaching experience is not counted as an industrial experience because you are not working in the industry. You have not seen different type of functionalities. but since you are working in the industry you have an experience as a scribe you definitely and i'm telling you you have a very good opportunity because medical field medical i would say out, out of all the industries medical industry is the only medical only industry that favors data analysts with medical backgrounds because, yeah, because they because i am a dentist they, yeah so they have a huge investment going on into drugs and patients and focus groups um they have focus group uh, different patients who are on placebos and on different genetic studies going on and then so all this kind of understanding a medical student or a medical a person with a medical background has far better than a guy who has no idea about these th terms and they don't have time to teach you those terms because they are already on a schedule you know that how long a drug development test takes uh before yeah. it hits the market counter so they prefer this is the only industry i would say in data analytics data analytics that prefers uh definitely have gives a, a high preference to students uh, to uh, to applicants with medical background so if you're looking to upskill and you know get a better job or better salary in your background in your industry you will definitely be getting it. that is for sure um are you having like any tie up with such companies uh, now like uh, you mentioned we have we have a tie up with one or two and we'll also help you how to apply to these kind of industries directly and help you build and prepare for that as well. don't worry oh thank you so much Okay, so I hope these questions are answered. But I have like few more questions here that Sachin is asking: Is there a future of data analysis because of AI becoming more and more acute? And before this, I just want you to take a question from Pradeepa, which is like she is saying that heard that Tableau is going to shut down soon. Is it true? Ah uh, no, Tableau is not going to shut down. Tableau is going to rescind some of its features, and it will be only Tableau will only be now remitted mostly after this to enterprises and companies and. professional solutions so those will still be there so when you're working as in a professional company tableau will still be there it's just setting down certain features that are not relevant to the industry 
that's it perfect now the sachin is asking is there a future for data analysts because of ai becoming more and yes definitely there is a future for data analysts after ai and i think data analysts have a more important role to play uh because who's going to, who's going to analyze the ai that is working so ai is just a tool to help you it, it does not have human brains uh at the end of the day when you're reporting and when you're providing recommendations uh it should always have the human factor now chat gpt does not know what is the emphasis of diwali in uh, india chat gpt does not know that but you as a data analyst will know that and when you be reporting during that time or reporting for strategy during diwali season you will include that factor in your uh, recommendations which chat gpt will not so ai is just a tool to help you it is created by some four or five or a team of 20 people sitting there so ai will only think what those 20 people think and those 20 people's mind or 20 people's knowledge does not represent the global presence so ai can never replace analytical jobs for sure they can probably would replace i would say data engineer jobs in future and not that is not near future probably 10 years or 15 years down the line uh, ai would replace junior coders and junior engineers and uh data engineers but not analysts for sure fine so isaac is saying can a zero in excel vba python learn 6.0 yes of course isaac because this course is actually developed keeping in mind that all the people are not from the coding background or from the like you can say similar background they are from having a knowledge of let's say very basics knowledge of all these tools and they even some of them even don't have that particular knowledge so course is keeping or designed in a way that caters to requirement for anyone who knows about excel or anyone who doesn't know even about these tools right so everything will be covered in this is the recruitment through linkedin or is it through a separate iim skills portal so we have our own job portal as well for iim skills here you can see this along with this job portal we have a 500 plus hiring partners that will be helping you and along with this we also teach you those techniques which can help you to land to the jobs using different methods one of them is linkedin as well and apart from linkedin there are other methods also that will be taught to you in our one of the session after completion of your course where even jatin take that particular session only and he teach you about that how you can grab the different job opportunity across the industry how to grab the freelancing or let's say projects throughout the industry Rishab is saying I am a money laundering KYC officer. Can you tell me what kind of opportunities I'll be having alongside my job if I take up this course? Can you answer this? Uh, uh, Rishab, uh, I think you you can work as a data analyst in any industry if you're working alongside as a as a as a contractual or a part time if you're looking into a part time working or a contractual working. um you can work into any industry you want because if you are continuing your job alongside i don't think it should matter that what what industry you are applying to you can even get a job which which is uh, like for example if you have a 3 years experience or 4 years experience you can easily get a job which is having 2 or 1 year experience also because it's a part time work you gain the experience and then you move up the ladder so i don't think it should matter or you should be very specific for opportunities you have the entire industry as your opportunity perfect so i hope all the questions related to the program and related to your understanding has been already answered so now i am just coming to the part where i'll be helping you to understand this is the job portal guys i have just shown you here along with this job portal this is the lms access like that you will be getting at the end you have this special sessions where we will be talking about internship process and also helping you with res resume and interview preparation related classes that will be available here right so everything from your classes to assignments to projects to your worksheets everything will be available here your installation process of the softwares everything will be there your links of the software how you can download this will be available here so everything will be available in your lms you not need to worry about 
anything that you have to do it yourself or search it yourself, right? Coming back here, the course we have, it has two different batches. One of the batch we are starting it today itself or already started, right? So the next batch we have for weekdays, it's going to start from the 4th of July, right? And that 4th of July batch is going to be a weekday batch where your classes will be on every Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, three days a week. So it will be two hours on every day. So two hours on Tuesday, two hours on Wednesday, and two hours on Thursday. Total will be six hours is the live classes. Apart from this live classes, we give you some assignments and projects that is going to take your four to six hours in a week. So if you are uh, looking at what time, what number of hours you need in a week to learn this course completely in six months. So 10 to 12 hours, 10 to 12 hours in a week, including your live classes and including your assignments and projects, you need to give it to this course. Secondly, we have the another batch, which is starting from weekend, which is 14th of July, which will be like your every Saturday and Sunday, starting from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. So these are the two different batches we have. So can I have a quick understanding from all of you, which batch you are more comfortable in, whether weekdays is more suitable to you or weekend. So whatever it is, can you please reply in the chat box? If you are looking forward for weekdays, just write weekdays. And if you're more interested for weekend, just write weekend. Okay, so I have a quick reply from Akash. It is weekdays. Rishav is for weekends. Tanya is for weekdays. Ritu is for weekend. Shruti is for weekdays. Isaac is for weekdays. Miraj is for weekends. If we take, if we take the course, do we have lifetime access for this? Of course, yes. That is the best part about the I am skills. We will be giving you a lifetime access of our all the courses, whatever you purchase. So if you are purchasing this particular program for data analytics, you can access this for lifelong. Today, you can learn all the live sessions. In future, if you want to re-attend any particular class, you can request us. We can give you the access to re-attend it as a live class. And we also can, like, you also have a recordings available. So in 2024, you are learning all the latest things that we have in 2024. But when you are in 2030, so you still can log in in your access in your account and can access what we are teaching in 2030. You can check out those recordings of sessions, what people are attending at that time. Right. So that option is there. Okay. Weekend timings are 10 to one, of course, and weekdays are eight to 10. Yes. And now we have, if we take course, do we have lifetime? Of course. Yes. I said, Dr. Anand saying for weekends. Priyanka is for weekends. Okay. So I hope most of the people have answered about their batches. Now it's time where I'll be helping you to just understand about internship and placement. Some of the people asked about it. So I'm just discussing here. So we have a two types of different internships available in the program. One of a kind of internship is guaranteed internship, which we will be providing along with the course. So once you complete the course for six months after that, from remote on your flexible timing with your job, with your education, you can do that internship and that will be non-paid internship, right? But if you want to get a paid internship, if you want to get a like office based internship, that is also possible, but that is, that is possible through a interview process. You have to go through an interview process. Interview will happen. You give an interview like a job placement, and then you are hired as an intern, right? So these two opportunities are here for internship. One is paid and one is non-paid. Dr. Anand is saying in case we miss a class because we have Saturdays working. Okay. So by any chance, if you miss any of the class, you have two options. One, all the classes will be available as a live in your account, right? Or as a recording in your account. So let's say if you miss one of the class on Excel. So let's say you are attending this data analytics using Excel and VBA. If you miss the class on this date, let's say if you miss the class on session two of data analytics. So you need to log in in your LMS and then you click here, the session two, and you can watch out this complete recording available here on this link, right? So this is available to rewatch or reattend your classes or uh, like revise your learning along with this. If you want to reattend the live class, and if you say that I want to attend the same class in weekdays, so we also give you this option that by any chance, if you are opting for a Saturday batch now, and after a month, after a two month, you switch the company where your Saturday is working. So you can simply write an email to us that you want to swap your batch. You want to change your batch from Saturdays to weekdays. 
so we can accommodate you in that particular batch also right what is the length of internship internship is project based so you can complete all the four internship or all the like internship within two months right so there will be project based internship where we will guide you how to do those projects and within two months you can complete those internships all hands on yes of course all the hands on internship will be there right and yes among that like if i'm talking about the live classes yes you will be doing it live online classes again in the weekdays batch if by any chance you want to shift or shift your batches right okay so that's all about this particular program and now if i talk about there is a surprise for all of you that i am keeping just to help you guys to giving your more than one hour here in this particular session so there is an appreciation for the time that you have invested in this particular session right so the fees we have for the program it is going to be 49000 plus gst which comes like 58800 all inclusive right people who have devoted their time in this particular session i am giving you this particular coupon code here which you can use and get a 10% in instant discounts over your course fee so you just have to use this coupon code 27 june demo and that will be helping you to avail discounted fees through our portal so i'll be giving you this link or this coupon code here so you simply can enroll yourself over this link for the desired batch that you actually looking at so i guess you are looking for the batch weekdays or weekend whatever batch it is we have a very limited seats for both the batches as i said we take limited participation in every batch so if you are looking out for the let's say weekday batch or weekend batch you can simply enroll because both of the batch had hardly have like two to three seats available in both of them right so i request if you are planning to do this then you can just simply go ahead and make your enrollment using this coupon code so i'm sharing it here uh hi uh this coupon code will be valid if we opt for emi option yeah it is valid what you just have to do you just have to pay through the website when you go on the website you just apply this coupon code and then there will be an option to opt for EMI. So there is an option to credit card EMI. There will be an option to enroll with like your Bajaj EMI. So both options are there. So you can simply can make your enrollment using that particular link over the website. So if you're using any credit card, you can opt for the EMI. You can get interest waiver along with that, right? For up to three months. Got it, guys? So Risha, if you want to enroll after a month, then I believe you have to wait till then, like whatever the offers will be available at that time, you can avail that. Or what you can simply do, you can enroll now and you can opt for the batch, which is starting in the month of July or August, right? You can tell your counselor that I want to take a batch in August. I am reserving my seat or reserving this offer for myself. Weekday classes are starting from 4th of July. 4th of July is going to be the batch for weekdays, which is starting. 14th July is going to be the batch, which is for like weekends, right? So I have just pasted this code here. Along with this, I'm copying this enrollment link and sharing with you guys, share with you guys here, right? And you simply can go ahead and can make your enrollment on this particular link, which will be helping you to enroll yourself on the given discount that we have shared, right? This is applicable for the batch, which are like I have shared with you, whether the weekday or weekend, any of the batch, you can simply make yourself enroll using the same link and you will get an admission form from your counselor where you can mention all the details, rest of the details about your profiling, about your like batch, whatever you want to choose. So you can just share that particular thing with your counselor, right? I hope that is clear to everyone. And I just looking forward to see you guys in the training program, right? It's been a great like audience that you are, that you have interacted throughout the session. So I hope everyone enjoy this particular session. Can I have a quick, feedback from all of you guys if you like this session if you find the value throughout this session thanks Ridu. we have a discussion forum available into your lms account itself right so in lms you have a discussion forum available where people can post their questions and right all other all other people can actually like give their views or points over that particular like 
topic they have shared. Perfect. Thanks, Pratyusha. Thanks, Dr. Anand. What is my option? You have to connect with the counselor for the same. I believe you are already connected with one of the counselors, so you can talk to them. Vanshika, okay, perfect. And Rishav, thanks. Dr. Anand, thank you. Parana, perfect. Miraj, Vivek. Trainer will be the same. Yes, you will be learning by these trainers, Jatin, Gaurav, Vandana. All these will be teaching you throughout your training. Thank you for the explanation and clarification. Everything was very useful. Perfect, Tanya. Definitely looking forward to see you guys in the trainer. Will trainer be 24-7 on discussion forum? No, trainer will not be there on the discussion forum 24-7. But yes, you will be able to put your queries and ask your question 24-7. And then there will be someone who can help you out in that particular thing. There are certain mentors. There are certain like counselors that, who will be helping you in that. So you cannot like rely that everyone like trainer also sleep, right? Trainer also work. So yes, they will be like having or like going through with all these things. But yes, someone is there to assist you for your queries. Can we get the session re demo recordings? Yes, you will be getting this. This will be uploaded on our YouTube channel. Then I can give the link or my like the counselor connected with you can give you the link for this particular session, right? Perfect. So guys, looking forward to see you in the training program and this offer, which I shared, this coupon code is only valid for tonight. So by midnight in India. So right now it is 9 p.m. So by 12 p.m. in India, this code will be inactive. You won't be able to use it after that. So if you're looking forward to get this 10% instant discount, then you just need to use this coupon code before midnight today. You have three hours time to just make your enrollment here with the given discount option, right? So I hope that makes sense and you all can like go ahead and look forward to avail this particular offer. Who will help us if we get problems in practicals? Usually in your class, there will be doubt clearing sessions are also there, right? So whenever trainer give you the projects and assignment, after that, they have some doubt clearing session after completion of one of the learning. So let's say you completed your Excel and VBA. So after Excel and VBA, we conduct a doubt clearing sessions for all of you where trainer can assist all the queries and questions that you've been facing as a problem in your practicals. Got it, Isaac? I hope that answers your queries. Trainer will help you in that. Yeah. Perfect. So guys, looking forward to see you in the training program and wish you the luck and have a great learning ahead. And Chatin, if anything is there you want to say to students, then definitely you can communicate it. No, thank you, everyone. Thank you for patiently listening to us, understanding what we have to offer, and hope to see you all being a part of AMS skills. Perfect. Thanks, everyone. Goodbye. Have a great learning ahead.